Marami na ako kaming discussion. In fact, imbis na bigyan sila ng 7-year income tax holiday plus SIT of 10 years or ED of 10 years, so we will provide them with 20% ED for 20 years. Mukhang bala na yung DOF uh, umayaw sa floor. Defining the functions of the fiscal is have to um, really change myself. So we recommend standards for proclaiming to the application of incentives to allow for the calculation of costs and benefits of an application, to recommend a grant of incentives to highly desirable projects, to recommend time bound or place specific projects or activities to the SPIPP during periods of recovery from calamities and post-conflict situations at the FIRB for any amount. Number 12, empowering the DOF to determine the terms and conditions for the grant of enhanced deduction. If we put that, this is due to scope and parameters of the term redundancy, a parameter for inclusion in the SMM. I may I recognize my good friend, of course, uh, the most um, the genius of Central Luzon because her brother was my classmate in Ateneo. May I recognize, of course, her congressman. Wala kasi kayo, kaya sinimulan namin mo na yun. Ong Pong Ordanes, also a member. Allowing services in IT process, outsourcing under an IPA to undertake work from home, although there is a DOF, there is a DOJ opinion on this floor. If we need to adjust this, Allowing the BOI to designate regional offices of the DTI as negotiated by American nice Congressman, Congresswoman Franz Castro, who is in all newspapers every day. <laughs> as one stop shop action centers, because we have a lot of albay, we have a lot of investors, but we my exporter, hindi sila nakikinabag dito sa Create kasi wala ko silang magpupuntahan. So ngayon, para meron silang malapitan yung mga negosyo center ng DTI. Number 16, clarifying the incentives RBE for transition but which of course the BIR did not respect. Enjoyment of duty incentives for the remainder of the 10-year transitory period provided that there will be no ano yan, the committee obtained additional input from numerous stakeholders in December, much of which from the speaker. <laughs> so ito dapat kasi approved na ito noong November 21, kaso every time the president goes abroad and the speaker is with him, immediately there's a chat to me to include this and that. So we might as well, you know, be responsive to the requirements of potential foreign investors. A list of local taxes that shall be exempted following the imposition of the RBET in courts framework for multinational enterprises. This one is the most important one. Kasi ngayon, pakita mo nga yung ano natin. Can you show? Under the current law, under the current um, our major investors, paki, ano, open. Next. They're already implementing the 15%, 15% global minimum tax. So, kung sa Pilipinas, binigyan natin sila ng ITH, wala silang binabayaran, pag nila sa country nila, sisigilin sila ng 15. So, walang kwenta yung income tax holiday natin. Wala kakwenta-kwenta. So, alam na naman kami mag magagawa ng mga batas na walang kwenta. So ito, 10 years, sabi namin, up to 7 years, ITH, 10 years na ESIT. Eh pati yung ESIT, dahil 10% lang, ang baba-baba, hindi rin nire-recognize. Ang nire-recognize lang nila, yung ED. Pero yung ED natin ngayon is for domestic market enterprise. Nakita niyo ba yan? So these are the um, enhanced deduction kung saan Pag naging gumamit ka ng kuryente, 200% deduction, imbis na magbabayad, imbis na i-deduct mo 12, i-deduct mo 24, sa so may katipid na nag-adyan. 
That one actually complies with the BEPS, which is means base erosion and profit shifting. Itong nasa harap nyo, pwede ito sa domestic. Kasi wala naman nung silang kasi pag ikaw po ang um, nagkay ka ng negosyo patulad sa creative industry, gumawa ka ng sarili mong BTS at ang BTS is actually foreign owned. It's virtually owned by American hedge funds. Eh, bawal naman yan sa konstitusyon natin because bawal sa atin mag magkari po ng media at saka advertising. Kaya hindi tayo yung ating po mga SB19 they are not funded by foreigners. Pero ang sinasabi ko dito, simple lang, and I seek the, the at least in principle, the approval in principle, that we make this thing in front of you suitable to the new requirements of the 15% global minimum tax. Kasi nga, hindi na uubra, nabibigay ka na, oy, masok ka sa Pinas. May 15, may 5, 7 year ka, hindi magbabayad ng wish na kahit ano. E pagbalik niya sa bahay nila, pababayarin sila ng asawa nila. So useless. So wala, papasok dito. Eh ang gulo pa ng BIR. Mas gusto pa nila magbayad doon sa kanilang host IRS. So yun po ang gusto namin gawin na i-redo na natin to abang maaga kasi otherwise wala papasok. But we can retain the current for domestic enterprises. Ibig sabihin, whether they're for export or whether they're for domestic consumption, for as long as for their IR, SIPP, pero yung foreign investors will not be attracted anymore by trade. Marami na kaming discussion, effect, imbis na bigyan sila ng 7-year income tax holiday, plus SCT of 10 years or ED of 10 years. So we will provide them with 20% ED for 20 years. Mukhang bala na yung DOF uh, umayaw sa floor. But as far as the committee is concerned, we have studied this for far too long and have discussion with too many persons. And um, I guess ito po yung ano. Ang isa pa, eh yung uh, iniingi po ng mga foreign investors sa Pilipinas na tagal na tagal na dito, ini-impose po ng BIR na 1% CWT. So, iniingi po yan yung US ASEAN Business Council kay Speaker. Eh ang CWT lang naman is a borrowing expenditure, a borrowing revenue. You borrow it and then at a certain point, so the creditable withholding tax, ang proposal namin, pag sumay babayaran sila, we will impose like the IRS in the US. If you pay more, you're charged with the US um, treasury note, which is about 4%, or 5% plus 4 So any overpayment is a solely sa'yo pero may interest gagamitin natin dito sa Pilipinas. Pag ang isang kano, eh, gusto nila ng CWT, pero meron naman talaga silang babayaran, we will impose an interest doon sa hindi nila binayaran. Pero, kung ang BIR naman ang naningil ng sobra, we will impose the same interest rates. We will follow the IRS style on overpayments. In other words, nangutang ka ng libre, ngayon sasabihin namin, pag nangutang ka, magbayad ka ng interes. That will essentially close the gap. Any philosophical or economic arguments against this. So, but exemption for enterprises, and this is upon the instruction of the President, that all those who are 100% exporting will have perpetual VAT exemption and no refund system at all from BIR. Karit siya dito eh. No VAT refund at all. If a Filipino or a foreigner invests in the Philippines and 100% is export, no way there should be any kind of VAT refund. So, 
perpetually. He emphasizes the word perpetual VAT exemption or 100% export. So, and now, FIRB to act as a review and monitoring body for IPAs. So, may I ask the yung ko mga member? First, Mr. Chair, I would like to manifest to nakalagay pala yung pangalan ko as co-author dito sa House Bill 974. So, I would like to ano na manifest to remove my, Hindi naman to my name. My name. <laughs> my name in this ano na, in this House Bill. Okay, thank you. 974. Okay, so, so ito yung binabanggit nyo, Mr. Chair, no? So, parang naisip ko na, nakita ko tuloy with this 9794 para bang more create create more di ba so ano na lang po yung ano na lang po ang babayaran ng mga uh, foreign investors uh, dito sa atin okay so habang ang mga mamamayang Pilipino ay bayad ng bayad ng tax bayad ng bayad ng mga kung ano-ano mga tax at uh, kami po ay at uh, syempre ang, ang tao ano na talaga no pubang-kuha na tayo sa pagbabayad yet yung pumapasok sa atin dito na foreigner ay libre na. Diba? Perpetual VAT exemption. So, mga, kung kung natin yung ano no? Uh, kung isa -isa exporter. Yes. Kung exporter. So, anyway, isa-isa yung po yung ano no, yung mga provision. Okay? So, ang sabi niyo po dito no, less taxes and more non-tax incentives imposed on corporations and now also resident foreign corporations. So, medyo masakit siya dahil um, habang habang nag nag-exempt tayo no dahil na natin mga tax holiday, mga incentive sa mga foreign investors or corporations. Ito dadagdagan na natin na naman natin siya no sale to registered export enterprise 0% VAT as long as it is directly attributable. To okay. export. Uh, to export, to registered project or activity of registered business enterprise, yung tinatawag natin RBE. So, siguro, think, talong natin dito sa, talong natin sa BIR, Mr. Chair. So, tignan ko muna kung ano yung na-loss sa atin under the CREATE law, how much supposed to be revenues that we are losing every year since we passed it. So, gusto pa na, gusto natin pa. May pa, I direct the question to the yes, FIRB? Apo. And then, ano naman din yung malulos natin just in case na, na ipatupad natin itong 9794. Um, wala ng ITH. Mm -hmm. Lahat sila magbabay ng 20%. Mm -hmm. Ngayon, yung mababawas doon sa income tax na nila is based on performance. If they employ more, 150%, no? Ayun na nga din yung problema natin, Mr. Chair. Ito, mamaya sa mga susunod na talagang ko pa. Hindi na natin pinag-iiba yung malalaking corporation doon sa MSME. Parang ang effect nito, magiging parehas na sila doon sa mga, ano no? Tama ba? Yung impression ko. Kasi yung mga maliliit na negosyo na MSME, parang, um, parang But, kapantay na yan. Ng hindi naman po. Kasi ang mangyayari niya, pag nasagot kita kagad, yung large taxpayers, mataas pa rin. Pag hindi naman po sila nasa SIPP, yung mga negosyo na gusto natin lagyan ng investment, na walang investment, this is an incentive package pa rin. So, the SMSC will still have lower, definitely 20% na income tax. Yes. So, yun nga, Mr. Chair, um, natagal pa ba yung data natin from the... FIRB actually. Or, kung magkano na yung... May I recognize Congresswoman Arden Rosas, I think my... My uh, burden is uh, getting harder. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I think um, in general, ma'am, this is in fact a better regime because lahat ng incentives can only be available at lower rates <coughs> if you put, if you use uh, you put an R and D, hundred fifty percent down deduction on labor force. And 150% for training. 100, so in other words, yung kanila pong, they will now, in the English, ang income tax holiday na walang, wala talagang babayaran. 
Ngayon, magbabayad sila ng 20%. Unless, if, alimbawa, yung kita nila 1 million. Pero gumamit sila ng mas maraming employment. Yung kada labor, babawasan natin ng 50%, additional 50%. So, ang palabor nila is 100,000. Ang ibabawa sa babayaran nila, 150,000. Yes, okay. Kung so, may training, 20% pa training, 150% pag training nila yung labor force nila, 200%. Ano ba, pinapunta nila ng Japan o ng Korea, yung lahat yung nalang gastos para matrain yung mga labor force, ididedact din yun sa kung saan itcha-charge yung 20%. So this is what you call enhanced deduction, performance-based scheme. So wala na yung ITH. Income tax. So, yun na nga po, uh, Mr. Chair. Kaya gusto natin makita yung pakinabang natin, uh, pakinabang ng gobyerno natin as regards doon sa sinasabi natin bagong uh, regime okay. o yung tinatawag natin yung uh, enhanced deduction Reduction. regime. Yes, ma'am. Okay? So, um, so I... kung wala pa? So, uh, kung... I, wala ka pa, ano? 